rates are once again going up. This is all in an effort to keep inflation down. It's the Fed's latest effort to get a handle on the inflation that's really been impacting all of us. Atlanta News First, Carly Barnett is live for us outside of the Federal Reserve Bank in Midtown. And Carly, explain to us, what does this mean for our wallets? Sean and Rick, it's going to be more expensive to buy a home, to buy a car, your credit cards are going to be more expensive, and paying for college. The gist of this is, is that borrowing money just got a lot pricier. But the idea is that we deal with this now in order to hopefully be better off in the long run. My rate before um, was in the low twos, and now I'm um, in the fives. Janique Johnson just closed on her five bedroom home in South Fulton, but she said it was a much different picture than when she bought her first home in 2019. I did have to come out of pocket a little bit more and based on the interest rates, my purchasing power and the amount that I would have been approved for in a different rate environment was significantly lower. The Federal Reserve announced an interest rate hike Wednesday, the seventh in a row. It's going to affect anyone looking to borrow money like a home buyer. Fortunately, yeah, it will hit the pockets of those that are um, getting new loans. But at the same time, this is uh, needed to be done by the Fed in order to keep controlling the stubborn inflation that's still at 6%. Daniel Pizarro is a business advisor and says the insolvency of banks like the one in Silicon Valley is still top of mind. That's why the rate hike was a quarter of a percentage point lower than the half predicted. The first mandate for the Fed is to control the inflation. Here's what he says you at home need to consider now in light of the latest increase. Try to minimize your debt, try to minimize your interest uh, rate also like through stuff that we can do like credit cards or like a, a loan that you don't need, stuff like that. So. First of all, before getting into a loan, it's important to understand that you can make that payment. Now, Pizarro says, keep in mind, this is largely unchartered territory. It is possible that the Fed may have to raise the rate again later on in the year. But he says we just need to look at the market over the next weeks and months because right now it is just too soon to tell. But for now, live in Midtown, Carly Barnett, Atlanta News First. Well, interest rates may be rising, but eligible Georgians will soon see some extra money in their bank accounts. We told you last week Governor Brian Kemp signed the state income tax refund bill into law. The Department of Revenue will start sending out those refunds within six to eight weeks. A